Welcome, 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 what's up everybody? I am Proto Buffers, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the uh, PS4 Profile Editor for Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the description and go to the uh, Bagpipe repo for my GitHub and download Bagpipe Editor. From here, we're going to get a, a decrypted save, so you can do that with either a save mounter or Apollo. You can also find decrypted saves in my decrypted PS4 save github repo from here we're just going to open our decrypted save and now you can see that we can edit it we have unlock all customizations we can give ourselves up to 600,000 golden keys i have seen issues with more than that we can also add items to our stash so we can just copy and paste items straight from gib if there's something in particular that you would like However, I suggest removing them from your stash because if you have too many golden keys and items in your stash, you are going to have a corrupted save very, very easily. For your rank, I suggest always keeping it at zero. And for your badass tokens, I suggest 9,999,999. Here on the max health, you see if you just hold down nine, it'll go up to the max value automatically. Things like the refill charge delay are going to need a minus in front of them so make sure that you keep that there or else you will have issues when changing the values however setting them all to one is my personal preference due to a bunch of issues regarding the shield at high values for everything else you can pretty much use the maximum value for fire rate i suggest 4200 that's a really good value for rocket jumping with Gunzerker and normal characters and for reload speed i suggest just 10,000. here in the raw tab now we can change things such as our field of view our stashes which if you do have stashes there i suggest removing completely to get rid of any extra unused space in the save we can also see our things like our previous rewards we can check that all of our customizations are unlocked we can see that the uh, golden keys are there and we can see our next token that we will get going into advanced edits we can not really see anything more that's needed i suggest just leaving this entire section alone so from here we are a good to save Now, if you do have your stash full, if you try and save, you will see this warning. So, obviously, if you save, you're going to have a corrupted save. And just removing them is still not enough. You're going to have to go to the raw tab and remove them if you want to get rid of that error. So, from here, we could just drag our save back and copy it over. No, oh, from here, I personally like to grab my save and throw it on a uh, flash drive, just from copying it from the home section in FTP. So once we copy our save back, I suggest turning your internet off. And once we boot the game up, you can see that these are the same stats we had. The max keys will only show the first three values, but it is my personal preference when it comes to save. The save editor also works for the pre-sequel, so don't forget to try out pre-sequel saves whenever you get the chance.